Hey guys, I'm Ozzy Bell, and then I do daily Football Manager content. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell so you get notifications when I upload new videos. But today, it is a tutorial for set pieces. Now, of course, newly uh, renovated, shall we say, for Football Manager 24. And uh, if you want to find it, it's also obviously in Under Tactics, up the top here. You click on Tactics, and this is, uh, this is how it looks. Now, it's renovated, I'd say, more than overhauled. I've already had people tell me they don't like it because it takes so much out of your control. I actually do like it because I don't have to go and uh, and tweak things, you know, when I change the lineup. So let's uh, let's start by creating a new uh, a new routine. Now this is currently corners uh, to defend. Obviously, there's also corners to attack. And uh, if you look here, you can also do free kicks from different areas and then throw-ins from different areas as well. But we'll, corners is probably the most easy to understand. And then you kind of apply the same logic to all the other ones. So if you're looking to defend, um, now you can can you start? You can't do a new routine for defending, which is which is fine. I suppose, <laughs> but I've already set that up. So you have uh, in the box, so you have your aerial defenders and the trackers, so basically people who are tracking runs, uh, and then you've got uh, your outside the box, how many people you want forward for a counter attack. Now, it's purely up to you the way that you want to set up your, your set pieces. It, it's going to depend a little bit on the players that you have as well. The way I like to do it, two man markers, two trackers, uh, three guys marking zonally in the middle, and then someone at the near post, uh, just so that... Um, I don't know why you could put them at the far post as well. You could not have someone on the post. It's just purely down to, to you know, how you want to set things up. So if you go and have a look here, though, you click on this, you can see all the options that you have for where you can put, you can put players. You can have as many man markers as you want. You can have as many zonal markers as you within reason, I suppose. Um, and trackers, again, your trackers can do different things. Uh, it might even be worth, when you're defending a corner, having somebody at the edge of the area. Uh, in fact, I'm kind of thinking now what I might do that so that when the ball's headed out You have someone there to pick it up and then someone a little bit further forward to hit them on the break uh, I mean increasingly liking the looks of that so uh, I might even go and change that at some point But uh, yeah, that is uh, that is how you uh, how you set this up And yeah, like I say and what I might should just have someone on the edge of the area and then someone a little bit further forward Now what what happens differently this FM to previous FM's is that uh, it? basically assigns the players for the position for you based on who has the best attributes for it so you can see here if you click on preview options and then preview starting 11 click on that and it'll tell you who the who is basically being put in each uh, in each position now i haven't found a way to to change this i don't believe I, i've had a quick go and there's no drop or drag option there's no seemingly like that's tarimi that's been highlighted but i can't necessarily change what he does so if anybody knows a way that you can actually override the game, then then please do tell me. But I've not found a way to do it. And I think that some people that have the, the issue with it, that is what it is, is that they can't actually they can't actually override it. Now there was a way to uh if you go to responsibilities here, uh you can see I, I am in charge of everything, so I don't really understand I don't really understand how else you are, you're supposed to override things if uh, if that is uh, something that you're going to do. Now, if you want to save a routine, obviously click the down arrow here and you can save it, load another one up, uh, all that kind of stuff. And you can see here that my team is accomplished at defending a corner in this way. Now, there's also, uh, you can do it for the attack. Also here, you will have noticed, you can toggle left and right side. So... Uh, not that that makes that much of a difference when you're defending, but uh, there you go. That's uh, that's an option for you as well. Now, when you attack is where things can get a little bit more interesting. So let's take it off of uh, preview with starting 11 so we can see the screen here. And now you can decide if you want to have an in-swinging or out-swinging corner. I've tried both. I think I've had more success with an in-swinging corner than an out-swinging corner, but it's I, I haven't found one being that much more dominant over the other. It might come down to, uh, you know, if you have a really good corner taker, you might, that's left footed, you might want them in swinging from one side, out swinging from the other side, just so that they're taking them all the time. You can see here the corner taker, uh, you can, you can obviously set who you want to take what corners. Personally, I've always just let the game decide. I've never been that fast as to who takes them as long as you know, it's someone that has the best attribute. And typically that will uh, be what they aim for. And then speaking of aiming for, uh, you can decide where it is you want the ball to go. Now, I have always liked to do it uh, for mixed, uh, no real reason, just to not be predictable, just to mix things up a little bit. That being said, if you had uh, if you had one guy that was the threat in the air, then it might be that you want to try and aim for him 
uh, all the time. So whether you aim near post and then uh, you would say your aerial threats, the man attacking the near post, you'd want to be your best, that best man in the air. Um, yeah, that's just kind of depends and you can have you can see here two players attacking the near post as well so you can you can play around with it on that front and um yeah you can see here that the edge of the box uh you will typically be the the one that is uh, best with long shots long shots first touch and technique i think is usually what is uh, what is there then you've got your your creators so the ones that are outside the area um actually no so yeah so the outside the area ones would be the the long shot technique that kind of stuff and then you've got your defenders typically i like to have two back but stay back and then one if they're needed to kind of sit back and help out but uh, you don't want to have too many men back but equally you don't want to get caught on the break either so that is very much going to depend on uh, on what it is you're trying to achieve so uh, yeah i mean again similar to defending you can see the different areas that you can tell uh you can tell your people to attack so the box threats are the, basically the poachers, the guys who are the most likely to get onto flick-ons and knockdowns and all that kind of thing. Um, so it's kind of your um, your fox in the boxes. And uh, so I think A4, if you wanted it to come here, you would drag down A4. So you tell them to mark the keeper, um, but they're not necessarily there to uh, they're there to get on the end of something rather than be the initial the initial um, target, I guess, from the. Uh, from the cross so that might be something and to be honest marking the keeper with someone who's a good finisher that can just sort of be there and anticipate and tap something again is probably a good idea and actually i probably should be doing that from the start uh you've got your outside the box so these as these are just lurk, lurking outside the box you can get someone to come short as well i've never really done that um yeah i mean it depends if, if that's what you like to do then then fair enough that's how you would that's how you would do that and then this is the, your, your recovery defender so you can either stay back if needed or just stay back all the time so uh yeah i'm not quite sure why it's got go forward there but uh, or if not needed idiot just reading it will tell you so yeah what they do if, if they're not needed to stay back is uh well just go forward because there's not much else for them to do apparently we could maybe tell them to go in there so there we go again you can kind of drop and drag and tell them where it is you want them to go if they're not needed although at this point i think we've actually taken them out of uh out of defensive duty so don't do that <laughs> because that's what the d stands for doesn't it uh, but yeah so that's how that's how you uh, you would do that so uh stay back if needed and then uh, yeah stay back if needed and then if they're not needed then that's what you tell them to do and then d the, the d3 there is stay back so they will always they will always stay back um so yeah that is uh, that is kind of that and then again you can go and you can preview and it'll tell you who in your team is going to be fulfilling what role and uh yeah you've got what i like about it is uh, this you can kind of see what's happening but if i was to go and change so let's say for example we change um our striker Tarimi's quite good in the air big and strong and good in the air so let's see if we take him out for someone who's not quite so uh, attacking so you can see we've just stuck john mcginn up there um and he is uh, he is now staying back because he's useless in the air from a set piece and so it's just it's automatically changed things so that when you make a change to your starting lineup you then don't have to go into set pieces and reassign everything it just it just happens for you so i personally like it for someone who likes to tinker with things and do that sort of stuff themselves then yeah i can definitely see how uh how maybe this uh this revamped is uh version of the set pieces is not going to be to your liking uh and then you could it's the same sort of thing free kicks with shooting range um it's just all it's like the old fms where you just tell them what to do and uh and that's again the game will automatically assign things so you can do attack defense uh, and then when you defend you have the option for left and right i don't does it have the same options with the probably does doesn't it from a for attack with left from left and right as well so yeah that's uh that's it it's it's not massively different from the other one you will find with the set piece coaches as well which is probably worth mentioning in a set piece tutorial uh some of the some of the set piece moves are different that they've definitely improved and i think with the, the better your set piece coach is the better that those set pieces will be but uh it's not sort of like you can set it up to be like you know ball goes from here out here crosses in and scores sort of thing it's not quite that level but um yeah the set piece coaches are uh, are, are, are inf influencing the game i find a better set piece coach will give you better set pieces which is how it should be really shouldn't it so set piece coaches if you're looking to find them uh, obviously you go to staff you would go to search and uh, you go up here to edit up to coaching set piece coach and uh, then you would want to go to attributes highlight attributes for uh, where are we coaches there we are there set piece coach set pieces overall and uh, that's all the attributes you're looking for are we going to find somebody that's quite that good one thing i have noticed is that a set piece coach there's not 
there's not that many that are that good. Now, realistically, it doesn't matter about all this stuff. You don't, I don't necessarily care about that. I just want them to be good at set pieces. So maybe some technical knowledge is useful. But anyway, so that's that's what you would do. You would search like this and uh, it'll bring up all the options for you. Now, one thing you can do to save clicking all the ones down individually, if you just do one up, one down, it'll just uh, change all the highlighted attributes for you. So there you go. Um, these are the best set pieces, coach, that are available. And yeah, like I said, I've noticed not there's not that many that are that good and maybe that represents uh, football fairly because uh, set piece coaches are a fairly new thing aren't they but anyway if you found that useful make sure you hit thumbs up subscribe if you're new hopefully i will see you for another tutorial or perhaps in croatia as we try and win the champions league and it's not with dinamo zagreb take care